If you've ever felt a divine connection and thought to yourself, like, you know, you see some of your older, maybe Thai friends or religious Thai friends have an amulet Mm -hmm. and you think to yourself, oh, I wish I got one amulet, but I don't have time to go to a temple. (laughs) Guess what? We've got a solution for you. Indeed we do. So a Thai man sparked a sensation across social media platforms in Thailand when he introduced a Buddha amulet vending machine to raise funds for temples in isolated areas. Now, a famous Thai monk opposed the idea, saying selling amulets via vending machines is disrespectful. Respectful. Now, news of the Buddha amulet vending machine went viral on Thai social media a few days ago after its founder, 33-year-old Kun Chayakorn, installed the machine at a shopping mall in a central province of Supanburi. Chayakorn revealed in an interview with a local news agency that he and his family members loved making merit and were also Buddha amulet collectors. Motivated by a desire to support financially struggling temples, the concept of a vending machine sprang to mind for him. Chayakorn explained that he wanted his vending machine to solve the issue of counterfeit amulets among collectors. He ensured that all of the amulets in his vending machine were genuine. He and his family personally sourced the amulets from various temples and revered monks to include in the machine's inventory. He added that part of the uh, revenue would also go to temples in remote areas where monks struggled to cover necessities like tap water and electricity. Now, according to Chayakorn, the Buddha amulets are priced between 100 and 500 baht, with each item accompanied by detailed information regarding its composition and place of origin. Thai TikTokers shared videos of his amulet vending machine on their accounts, drawing attention from many Thai amulet collectors. The collectors praised Chayakorn for his creative idea, which could solve the problem of buying fake amulets in Thailand. Famous Thai amulet collector, also known as Tang Pra Supan, expressed his pride in Chayakorn's innovative idea in an interview. He said, quote, I am surprised. It is cool that he could come up with this idea. I am proud of him. It is a new business model, but some of the old generations may not understand it because they say that amulets are associated with grace and power should not be in a machine. The world is changing. I like it. The only concern is fake amulets. This machine should offer only genuine ones. This is such a fascinating story to me. Like the 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 amulet market here, mm-hmm. it's like a, it's like trading cards. Oh, it's yeah. it's huge yeah. here. Depending on who blesses the amulet as well, mm-hmm. the price range. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, apparently divinity and uh, blessings on an amulet have a price. Well, that's the funny thing. You can thing. get extra blessed if you have more money. Indeed. You know, one of the funny things about Thailand is the mixture uh, of tradition and commercialization. And this is just yet another fine example of that. Some people <laughs> might tell you that an amulet is an amulet is an amulet. Uh, however, an amulet is not always an amulet. It ain't. Unless it's been blessed by the right person. Indeed.